Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. It is a very chilly Wednesday, December 14th, 2016. I always give you the date every single day. If you're new to this video, we do this pocket dump deconstruction every single day. Christmas? Oh, we'll do a pocket dump deconstruction. New Year's? Pocket dump deconstruction. We look at what I'm filling my pockets with. Yeah, I'm a guy that fills my pockets with a lot of stuff. I have a keychain knife, a medium knife and a large knife, a cigar, some booze, and one of my watch rotations. And I always carry a one ounce silver coin for good luck. My grandfather always had a silver dollar, pockets full of silver dollars. Always made me happy. I like to have a silver coin in my pocket for good luck. Now let's talk about what you see in front of you. That right there is going to fill my pockets. What's my philosophy of filling my pockets? Just making me feel good, period. That's it. That's it. I took pictures. We'll post those on Instagram. My Instagram is at Keith Kevin Ken. That'll be around noonish, one-ish or two-ish when I get a chance for lunch. Turn my iPhone 6S Plus from photo to video, and now we're going to go through this pocket dump deconstruction. The watch today, because I have a lot of meetings, is my Apple Watch. First gen Apple Watch. You know, I haven't even upgraded it to the new software yet. I got to get my life together and all my technology together. This is crazy. Got to get it done. But uh, right now, just the first gen stuff is good enough for me. It reads my emails. People call, can call and I'm in a meeting. It's muted. I can feel it on my wrist and just tilt it towards me instead of, you know, looking at your phone. People don't even know I'm checking in with the office all day long. The cigar today that I'll enjoy after I get over the hump, that's after Wednesday, after work, is the San Cristobal. Cuban cigar. Oh, man. I just got to hang in there. I don't know what's going on with me, but I love my job. It's what I've always wanted. I still love it, but man, oh, man, oh, man. For some reason, not in a mood for work. Have you been like that? I'm in a mood for payday all the time, so I've got to get that work in to get paid. Um, My shown design pen, shown design pen from... Massachusetts, American made, just a wonderful pen. This one is titanium. One of my thin uh, coach wallets from back in the day. The coin today, all week I've been doing this presidential coin thing. Uh, the US Mint has released a number of presidential, special presidential silver dollars over the past year or so, and they're very limited. I was lucky enough to grab them all. This one today, I don't know if you can see it, uh, is the JFK, the Kennedy one. One ounce silver dollar for good luck. You'll be able to see it better in the photo on my Instagram, at Keith Kevin Ken, when I post it around noon, one or two, early afternoon when I get a chance. Oh, man. Yeah. We're, we're, we're going to do blended scotch today. After work, try to, <laughs> when it dips to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, <laughs> I'm going to need to be warm <laughs> after work. <laughs> Sheesh, oh, man. You know what? It comes every single year. So I need to stop acting like a little baby about the weather. It's just, ugh. Not so much the weather, it's waking up when it's dark and getting off of work when it's dark. There's a crime in there somewhere. That's a word pad if you're uh, familiar with uh, the field notes. If you're not, grab some field notes or grab the word pad that I got off of Amazon. Uh, real heavy duty notepads that really, both of them, that really look good. I do the word and both the f and the field notes. I do the word because they just have more colorful 
kind of covers but go check them out it's great to take notes and if you if you feel like getting a really nice constructive pin uh try shown design by the way no sponsoring at all believe me <laughs> it's a small youtube channel you know we're making our way to 2000 and once we hit 2000 subscribers i'm going to do a spydeco knife giveaway where i give away at least two new spydeco knives and at least one of those will be a sprint run limited edition uh, so we're working our way on that. These aren't sponsors. These are just things I really like. Let's talk about the carry. The small knife is the Spydeco Spin. And it's the etched version. I really like the Spin. And most of the small keychain knives from Spydeco and most of my keychain knives come from Spydeco. Because they're just so well done and they do a lot of them. Uh, are these really small knives so this is stainless steel it has a frame lock this little itty bitty knife with the little clip has a frame lock that even my fat hands can operate in a real nice way open it with the spidey hole it's really nice I call this the pizza slice shape uh, it's a really nice shape knife 1.85 inches VG 10 steel obviously you can get a spin with a regular stainless steel i like the etched when when i can find something that has one of the spydeco etched handles i really like them um and the reason i like them is that man first it gives you a little grip it feels really nice it's raised that pattern is raised off of the surface of the scales but also it hides a lot yeah, it hides a lot of the little, you know, dinks and little abrasions that you get throughout the day. That with stainless steel, everything. Fingerprints, it's it's not bad with fingerprints either. Stainless steel just ugh, gets ugly after a day of use. That is the Spydeco Spin VG10 Steel 1.8 inch. I mean, I'm sorry, 1.85 inch blade yeah I do like the hinderer people have very strong feelings about hinderer knives and I know there's been so many past feelings and I've gotten really good constructive criticism saying how they don't like him Rick hinderer and you know their knives it took them forever to finally figure out how to flip a knife and all of those there were issues with hinder or flipping knives. If you watch YouTube and you see some of the older videos from everyone, everyone, people who are super critical, people who love hinderers, everyone talks about the flipping. I have some of the newer hinderers, Skinner, and this is one of his really new knives. It's the uh, hinderer half track that just came out, was just introduced at one of them. I want to say Blade. It might have been Shot Show. And I like it. First, I like it because it's one of these, just like a lot of the hinders, nice thick knife, but look how small. And you guys know I like a small knife. It reminds me, not in its appearance, of course, of the Techno, where one of my all-time favorite knives. It's just really nice. You know it's in your hand. It fits the hand really well. And of course, it's a hinderer. You can say all you want. I, You know what? Not criticizing people at all, man. You, you got a YouTube channel. You got, you know, comments. Those are your opinions, man. I love opinions. As long as they're civil, you know, for me. Uh, hey, I get it. But Man, you have to say that hinders are well made. I mean, service people, police officers, servicemen use hinders. In fact, for a long time, it was hard to get hands on hinders. You could only get them in the secondary market, and they were marked up. Man, they were marked up so expensive when I started collecting. But now he has a lot of distributions. You can get a bunch of hinders on Blade HQ or anywhere else that you can buy knives and that's nice because then we get that it's still the retail price right but it's a lot better than 
you know, hinders. <laughs> XM18s used to go for eight, nine. When I first started, I I used to see them for over a thousand dollars. You know, now you get them for the same price that you can get a Chris Reeve knife. I really like this half track, man. It is butter to me. It flips. It's one of my newer knives, and look just how it how it, it's just really nice. I really like it. Again, titanium scales. It has this great texture on the scales. See-through construction, easy to clean. Of course, the hinderer pivot, which I really nice. Get a penny if you're in the field to tighten it or loosen it. Just great action. And let me just tell you, it just flips like a drain. It does. They handled the flip part. The hinderer clip. I also like hinderer because he is not afraid to even sell you parts so that you can personalize your knife. I'm more of a classic guy. I don't personalize my knives that much uh, because most of mine will be going to my kids, but I'll tell you, and then they can personalize the hell out of it. But I love to see how other people personalize their knives. I love that stuff. I love pimp knives. I don't own them. I don't buy them, but I love to see them. But this is, it meets all of my prereqs, just classy, classy in the way that it's just, not a lot of flair. S35 VN steel, 2.75 inch blade, nice thick stock. Just, you would know it was Hinderer even if you didn't see the logo. This is one of his newer knives. I've seen some custom versions of it. I've seen some with just, without the texture. I've seen some different colors, but I really like that half track. And man, I was playing with another knife because I just can't get over my automatics this week. I don't know why. I got automatic. <laughs> I've got just an automatic bug going around. Uh, I can carry automatics in my state. But I'll tell you what, I haven't carried many of them. <laughs> because then I start thinking about, eh, let's just get something thinner. And I start playing around. And man, lately... I've been really loving my Chris Reeve tie lock. I have two of the three that have been released. This is the original, and I have the most recent, the third one, the Elemental. Didn't get the second one. Every time I see it, you know, these are not inexpensive, by the way. They're very light. They're very different from what you expect from Chris Reeve. Chris Reeve teamed up with Hawk design that's grant and gavin hawk great designers to come up with this design for a knife so with those three together they came up with the original tie lock and then the other two so three years ago they introduced this and chris reeve has been introducing a new one each year for the past three years I like it. It's so light. This version, so light with the 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 holes in the uh, scales. The big thing, and why it's called a tie lock, you know, this is titanium right here, and this is part of the locking. They moved the lock from the inside of the handle to the outside. They didn't want a lot of guts inside. And how they did that, was when you pull it up, these release and snap in. And it's just really a nice lock. And I love that it's on the outside. It adds to the design as well. Just really nice. This is the Chris Reeve tie lock. Again, there are three available. I think this the, this one, I think it's called Blue Stream, maybe, uh, is the second one, and then I got the Elemental. But what a wonderful knife. Love the clip as well. Doesn't look all purdy to me. I mean, they've given thought to this clip, but, man, it's very functional. Very nice. That's the Chris Reeve tie lock. Again, S35 VN steel. You know, Chris Reeve, that's what they're rocking these days. 3.5. 
two five inch blade that's the carry that's what's going to fill my pockets that's what's going to make me happy and hopefully hopefully survive all the humps that come with a wednesday <laughs> lately don't forget to thumb this up if you enjoy watching the daily pocket dump deconstruction that you have something to watch every single day then thumb it up. Let me know. That's what keeps me going. It really does. It keeps me going. So please thumb it up. Share it. Let people know we're out there. And of course, subscribe. Help us reach that 2,000 subscriber goal. Okay? Become a subscriber. It's free. And if you've already subscribed or if you're subscribing right now, which I wish you are, once you hit that subscribe button, look at that bell. Hit the bell <laughs> next to it. Um, because I'll tell you, I'm a huge YouTube fan. And a lot of things that I subscribe to, I don't see on my screen when I open it up. So hit that notification. If you notice, a lot of people on YouTube have been saying that. So that they let you know that when I post something. Because there are a lot of videos coming. We're still working through our Spydeco Palooza. A lot. I have a big Spydeco collection. Go check it out on the playlist. It's Spydeco Palooza. Thank you. I'm thanking people that took us over the 1,000 subscribers. And I'm working through that, <laughs> that collection. Whew. Man. It's a lot of collection. It has me thinking about, why do I have all these Spydecos? <laughs> I'm, I'm proud to have them. I'm lucky. Knock wood to be able to work and afford them. But man, oh man. So... Go check them out. See all the knives. I just posted a knife looking at what Spydeco promises to release in 2017. And I use the knives I have in the collection to do that because they are re-upping a lot of old designs. And I happen to have the old classics. So go check that out. Then I have all the knives, all the folding knives that Spydeco released in 2016. It was an epic year. This is 2016 in December. We're wrapping it up. There's just two more weeks. And Spydeco released a bunch of knives. And I committed myself at this time last year to buy all of the folders. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> man i didn't know they were releasing that many variations of things but go check that video i think those two videos together will be really nice you'll see a lot of knives hey i've talked about that don't forget i'll post pictures on instagram come join me on instagram i post at least four starts with a cup of coffee ends late at night when i'm going to bed but enough of instagram and all of that stuff Let's talk about the knife that got away. Ah, I have been going crazy over automatics. Yesterday, two knives that got away. Yeah, I'm going to be wimpy. If you have an Ultratech, if you have a Microtech Ultratech, you can feel for me. If you have a Microtech uh, out the front, double action, I know you can feel. Because sometimes, the great news is, they come out fast. That's the important part, okay? If you need to use this in a defensive manner, <laughs> you need it to come out. Going in, if you have to do two hands, cool. This is one of the limited editions. I got it from Blade HQ a while ago with the see-through handle on the front. So you can see the spring. You can see the workings of the knife as it's taken out and as it comes back in. This is the Microtech Ultratech. And man, I've been playing with a lot of my Microtechs. By the way, I have a video. I've got to learn how to put that little slide over so I don't have to keep telling you. But there is a video on this channel of all my Ultratechs. Probably missing two of my newer ones. But other than that, there's 11 of them on there. Go check it out. If you want to... If you can't carry an automatic, but you want an automatic fix, or if you're looking for a Microtech and you want to see a bunch of them, especially out the fronts, go take a look at that because I cover the range pretty much. That's it, you guys. Yeah, that's today's pocket dump deconstruction. You know what? I'll be back tomorrow. 
And there's over 300 of these already on a playlist on this channel. Just go crazy. And a lot of other special uh, videos as well. Hey, I appreciate all of you. I love doing this. This gets me revved up, ready to attack the day. You guys, man, I'm wishing you a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. I promise you, you'll, you'll feel good about it. I promise you, it'll make you happier. Find some time for you, yourself. Being a little selfish is okay. It, it helps you, trust me. You guys have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Take care. Bye.